Hey, yo, it's Brandon Lord, and welcome back to, uh, um, to Five Guys and Kings. As the Romans, if you recall last time, we finished off the Austrians. Germany planted a city here, which could be the start of a war, who knows. And, um, we're rushing towards culture of victory as our culture is expanding. Um, kind of slow at the moment, but hopefully we can get that up soon. Sistine Chapel in five turns will be very nice for that, and, uh, we should be able to do that pretty well. And uh, I think that's about all we did this turn. There's really nothing else we need to do. Um, actually, I should check to see if there's any more uh, luxuries we can sell off. Because perhaps we can. So let's check on... Uh, what was it? Diplomatic overview. Who has money that can buy stuff? Theodora has some money. And uh, do we have any extra luxuries? Yes, we do. We have silk. So would you like to buy our silk for 240 gold, good woman? Very nice. Okay, so we sold some extra silk. And it doesn't look like anyone else can afford anything. So, yeah, looking pretty good. Okay. And now that money is very useful for keeping city-states. Um, could get Kathmandu. What's their quest? Oh, they want us to build the Sistine Chapel. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. We'll, we'll be able to get them on our side pretty soon, I think. All right, so that's it for this turn. So let's end the turn here. And uh, I'm going to take a drink real quick, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> it looks like Marrakesh wants investors. So, uh... They're allied with me already, but if I give them gold, it'll be more helpful now. Okay. And it looks like Vienna grew, but it didn't give us a pop-up about it. So, whatever. Whatever, bro. It's just not going to give us pop-ups now? Huh? Huh? Whatever. And our religion isn't spreading too greatly. Uh, it should spread to these places pretty easily. And then we'll have to see. Hopefully we can get it to these city-states here. This ring of city-states. And then we'll be able to, uh, you know, kind of control these city-states. And have a good amount of pressure outward. Especially Genoa should become Bradenism soon. Kume pretty quickly. Antium is getting some good pressure as well. But uh, right now I'm saving up for another uh, monastery to put in Kume, if I recall. And then uh, we're going to uh, stop with the monasteries for now. Because monasteries will be useful here, but, you know, I don't really need them as much as missionaries and stuff. So for now we're just being inclusive, but we'll we'll be aggressive with our economy soon. And uh, we still have the Great Wall of China, which is hilarious to me that we got that. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, next turn. And our legions are still moving down to garrison down here. That's right. And uh, India wants a uh, friendship. So there we go. That's fine. India. We've been good allies. And uh, the rest of the world likes to hear that. Uh, basically, the only people that don't really like us is England. And Haile Selassie is okay with us. But England doesn't really like us. But England's the weakest nation. So it's like, eh. And uh, there we go. Antium has adopted uh, Brainism. So perfect. Perfect. We get extra pressure now. Now we're up to plus 16 pressure. And this place is up to tw plus 24% pressure because you can't give pressure to yourself. So, Kume should flip pretty soon. And uh, these places down here, we're winning out in Manila, winning out in Jerusalem, losing here. We're not even getting pressure in Marrakesh. That's kind of weird. I mean, it's a little too far away. And we're not quite winning out here either. So, the east looks pretty nice, but uh, the west is a little iffy. And there's still some Islamic people. But uh, for the most part, Islam is is done. And uh, the arts are flourishing in Jerusalem. Oh, whoever can produce the most culture will give influence to Jerusalem. Very nice. That's very good, actually. And uh, they also want... What is this? Discover national wonder and a great artist. Okay. So they're being very cultural, which is good. And three turns until this university is done. So, very nice. And uh, Bismarck's more friendly with us. That's always good. You see, I think their score is just so far ahead because they have so many cities and they're expanding. And no, Gandhi, I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. I can't afford to give away stuff. And Biz... Oh! Ooh. Oh, man. That is that is, that is something. Um, 
this is this is one of the tough decisions of uh, Civ Five right here. Now, okay, let's th let's think through this logically. If we team up with Halle Selassie and try to take over the Germans, um, Germany has a bunch of allies, including us. I think we're still allied with them, and uh, that would piss off the whole world. Whereas staying neutral in this, we could see if Halle Selassie could do damage against him, because Halle Selassie is going to declare war. It seems like, regardless. And, uh, hmm. See, it's interesting that they're coming to us, well, I guess because they believe we're more mongering that we'd be kind of interested in this a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say no for now. I'm going to see if, if they do go to war, how that progresses, and I may jump in and help them anyway. But for now, no. Plus, our military technology isn't the greatest. And, uh, yes, friendship with the Byzantines, always good. And, uh, see, because I didn't notice that they were doing so well down there. And, uh, we just got access to Notre Dame, which was already built, so that's that's always fun. And, uh, this legion is in place now, so we'll just fortify him. He doesn't need to do anything. And, uh, over here we can go and head and build... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about the ironworks, because, honestly, because of our special bonus, the ironworks, I think, would be the best. And, uh... Grand Temple, we need that too at some point. That would be very nice. It gives us culture as well. Plus, Ironworks gives us culture. All of the, all three of these give culture, so they're all pretty good. So I think I'm going to build the Ironworks there. And Kume can go ahead. Aqueduct's good. Don't get me wrong, but I think Temple, because look at look at look at how quick the Temple is going to get built. You know that'll be very nice to have extra faith. We'll get some. We'll get. We'll start cranking out a lot of faith too. Faith and culture is what we're going to go for. And uh, yeah, things looking pretty good. So we're going to end the turn. Our auto-managed workers are doing work down here. I'm not really sure what they're up to, but, you know. Ah, whatever. Can't be bothered. And uh, somebody just met the Renaissance there. We still haven't met that person. I believe they're the last person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. And Kume is adopted. So very nice. Now we're getting uh, 10 gold from religion per turn, which is amazing. And Byzantium's enhanced Confucianism, unfortunately. But we have the best. We have the best one. We have the increased pressure one, so we should be able to at least hold our territory. And uh, hopefully, we can get Sistine Chapel. It's gonna be close. Well, I don't know if anyone else is building it, but uh, hopefully, we'll get it. Looks like we did. Very important wonder. So, uh, yes, we got it. Da, 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 da. Plus twenty-five percent culture in all cities. Very good. I can see that increase our culture by uh, quite a bit, by 14 per turn, which is pretty good. And Kathmandu, come on, I just built it. Are you not going to register that yet? Okay. I want to spend some money on you, too, because you're a cultural city state. And uh, we got uh, Antium's done constructing stuff. We could go for National Treasury. There already is a lot of gold here, and gold would be kind of good to pour into this place. Um... Yeah. I think I think so. I think that's going to be a good bet. And that'll give us extra culture as well. And um, then we can also get an opera house. We'll probably get an opera house next. We need to get an opera house in uh, Rome. But uh, we'll work on National Treasury for now. I think it'll be good. And uh, Vienna, you can work on... What kind of great people production do you have going on here? Great engineer. Um, yeah, we can get uh, we can get the national national epic in here. So we'll just, we'll just get all our national wonders out of the way. Start pumping those out. That'll, that'll be very nice. And uh, you know, eventually we'll get a barracks going, and we'll get a national uh, heroic epic as well. That'll be good. And uh, hopefully next turn they register that we built the Sistine Chapel and that we will have you know the next culture, the best culture, hopefully. And, uh, okay, who's, let's see, who is the one that wanted, oh yeah, it was Jerusalem that wanted culture, and are we winning? You have the lead, yes, you have the lead, that's what I want to see, that's what I want to see, baby, there we go, that's all I want to know, it's a barometer, so I think we're doing, we're doing good, culture, we're kicking it, and I think we can win this way, yeah, and our score, we're definitely in the second, Bismarck is expanding, and yep, there we go, oh, we're allies, holy cow, very nice. We're allies, and ooh, 
I'm not sure I like what Germany's up to here. I'm not sure what they're up to, really. Hmm. Let's see, Germany, what do you think about me? Discuss. Okay, I don't know. A little fishy. Either they're coming up to fight Halle Selassie, or they're going to just defend this or something. I don't know. But I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. One bit. Indeed. It's very fishy. But, uh, for now I'm okay with it. For now. And, uh, things looking pretty good, so next turn. Hmm. There we go. They want Kathmandu. They probably wanted Marrakech as well, and they are going buck nuts. Ah, interesting. Open borders, gold, a little bit of iron for a research agreement. I think we can do that. Actually, how much? Is that all the rest of my iron? I think it is, so I think we're fine if we do that. Yeah, I need a re research agreements are good, so definitely gonna get that. Oh, and we have, we have plenty of iron. Never mind. And, uh, Catherine do election shenanigans. That was probably Germany. Do we have another spy? No, we just have the one. But I want to keep that in Rome. Wine to Theodora and wine to Bismarck. We'll see if they want to renew that. And uh, we'll get that ally back real quick. Because that, that extra culture is very nice. And uh, Kume has finished that. So I think we can go ahead and get, uh, get another aqueduct going. Those are very helpful. Especially if I'm trying to expand a lot. And uh, Kathmandu. And uh, we're going to give you a gift. Give you 500 gold. And you're going to be allies. Get that culture back up. And uh, they're going to us 12 cultures, so very nice. And uh, we're going to lose that culture per turn from the Golden Age next turn, unfortunately. But uh, no worries, no worries. Hopefully we can get another Golden Age soon. Start getting more great artists, because great artists give you Golden Ages as well. And uh, we'll start churning those out and getting our culture going. Yeah. May not be the most exciting path to victory, but I believe that uh, it'll, be, ooh, it'll work pretty nicely for us. Um, holy cow, what, how'd this German missionary get damaged? They're sending a lot of missionaries up here. It's actually a little bit concerning. I don't know what they're, I don't like what they're doing. Uh, we'll see though, we'll see. You know, we still got positive pressure here. I don't, I don't know why we're not getting pressure. It's, it's silly. Silly. And we're gonna lose out there, it looks like, unfortunately, Manila. Oh well. Oh well. I think it'll be okay. Genoa's still there. So we got three city state allies, which is very nice. And uh, Theodore entered the Renaissance era. Kathmandu wants to, us to kill nearby encampment. Let's see where that is. And steel, very nice. And Antium has adopted a religion of not having a religion. Okay. Dude, you can lie to me. That's fine, I guess. And uh, where is... Oh, really? Down there? I can't do anything about that. Germans are going to get that. Dang it! Kathmandu. Being annoying. Now let's just see if we're winning still. Oh, yeah. So far, you have the lead. And if we discover a national wonder soon, um, we're going to be kicking it for them. And that'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be good. Very good. And should I have the science open? Because I don't remember what I'm researching. And uh, Alhambra. Alhambra. Who's the city called? Oh, gosh. That's pretty good. Alhambra. I kind of like that. Let's see if we can get that. And uh, Elizabeth. No. Yeah, see, it looks like. Well, that doesn't look like what you're doing, though. I don't understand. You got forces up here. Lhasa and Germany now allies. Where's Lhasa? Lhasa's way down there. I don't really care about Lhasa. I can't really do anything about Lhasa. And, uh... No! A monastery's been purchased in Antium. Gosh dang it. You know what? I'm just gonna keep... I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get our four monasteries, because... Uh, I guess it's just gonna auto-purchase them in the wrong cities. Whatever, whatever. I'm okay. And whoever can discover the most technologies 
All right, we have a shot at that. Sure, with someone else, yes. Sure, with someone else. All right. What are? We're okay. We're okay. Genoa, still plenty of ally time left. And the Kathmandu, I think we're fine with them. Marrakesh, doing good. I'm going to try to save our money for uh, city-states at this point, but uh, if I need it for other stuff, I will. And uh, speaking of which, can we get more deals going? Because that would be very nice. Diplomacy overview. Bismarck, we could sell you some stuff. Looks like that's about it. Hey, Bismarck, you want... Do we have extras? Oh, we got extra wine. We got a bunch of stuff. So 240 for that. Very good. And uh, would you take... Take one of our extra silks for like 230 and one gold per turn. Hmm. 235? Alright, fun. So we're stealing their gold and uh, giving them luxuries. Give them a little more happiness, but we're stealing their gold so they can't like bribe city states. That's kind of the, a good thing as well. So that's looking pretty good. Yeah, we're de I'm definitely going to want to pick up patronage if we're going to be fighting over city states. Um, and Machu Picchu has been built. Cool. And uh, people that smile the most. We're the worst, but we're still 20. 23 isn't bad, so I think we're fine. Germany's no longer an ally. That's good to hear. I still haven't. I want to meet this last player. Because uh, if there's only seven people left, I want to know who, who everyone is, man. I mean, come on. And here's my favorite song. Holy cow, Berlin is 20. Oh my gosh, Berlin is huge. The rest of their cities really suck, but Berlin is huge. Think about how nasty it would be if we took that over. Huh. Oh, actually, I have to upgrade my men. That's right, I need to upgrade them. So let's go around and upgrade some men here. That's probably a smart thing to do. And upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Got to keep on the cutting edge of military technology. Don't want to fall behind there. Definitely important, and uh, we'll wait on that. Uh, I'm going to focus on these six units to upgrade. The rest of them I don't really care about. They're on lower priority, and we'll probably save our money for now. But, uh, yeah, upgrades are very important. So definitely got those going. And next turn. Processing for India, England, Player 7, which we don't know. I wish we knew them. I want to know you, Player 7. I want to know who you are. And, um, yeah, probably have to fortify all these guys. So fortify, 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 fortify. And we're about to get a national, national epic next turn, which would be very cool. And uh, nobody outside of our kingdom has adopted Bradenism, but uh, we're getting 10 gold from Bradenism, which is very nice. And our faith is increasing as well. And next policy, five turns. Very cool. Open borders. Sure. Sure, sure. It doesn't really matter, because if they declare war on us, they have to uh, be pushed outside of our borders. So, I mean, if they're going to do that, then uh, it's not going to work out too well for them. And uh, chivalry is ours. Very nice. And uh, over in Kume, university would be nice. Hmm. Position production. Which one would do we? Because we only have really one. Yeah, I'll go for university. I kind of want to save Opera House till we get one in uh, Rome. I'll build an aqueduct in Vienna as well. Since I built one in Kume, I think we'll need one in Vienna. Now, check the demographics here. Uh, we're number one for approval, number two in science. The best is the unknown person, number two. So we're doing pretty good in the world. We're top four for everything, I think. So that that is very nice to hear. Well, Germany is the best in pretty much everything else. Whatever. That's okay. 
And the turn, and Bismarck has declared war on Theodora. That's where he was going. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Could get a forge here. Uh, Oxford University. Yeah, that that's why I want to get um, universities there, right? Because you get the Oxford University, which gives you one for technology. It's just so good. So good. Uh, but I guess for now, we'll just go for, I guess, a Coliseum wouldn't be too bad. So let's get that going. And again, I want to wait until we finish that. Get an opera house there in Rome, and then we'll get opera houses everywhere else. Because it'll be boosted time-wise. You know, actually, do we have wonders we can build? No. Okay. I'm waiting. I'm kind of waiting for a good wonder to build. So that I can get uh, more culture in these settlements. And uh, people are building wonders, unfortunately. So um, we may have to pick something and just go with it. Vanilla, we're almost no longer friends. I'm okay with that. I'm worried about these. These three, Genoa, Marrakech, and Kathmandu are the ones that I want. So those are the ones I'm going to stick with. Marrakech is the one I care about the least. Still a nice city state to have, though. But uh, definitely Kathmandu and Genoa are our priorities. So I'm not worried about that. That's okay. And an extra note. The Ironworks done, which will give us a little extra culture. Uh, maybe one or two. We'll see. New research agreement between India and Byzantium. Also cancel quests. Captain Du Great Admiral. <laughs> Whatever. Um yeah, up to seventy two, very nice. And uh definitely get Opera House now. See that's only seven turns. And they'll probably get a university and build the heroic epic. because uh, this is our this, Rome is our science place, so the hero or the you know, build the university, not the heroic epic, we'll get um what is it, the Oxford University. Vienna still needs a uh temple. That we can get that. But uh, we'll go for Opera House. And uh, speaking of which, we can get a temple right now. That wouldn't be too bad. If we can get the Grand Temple here next, that would be good. Be very, no, no, we're going we're gonna to get the University, Oxford University, and then we're going to get something else. So, if we're going for the Oxford University, let's pick a wonder and go to it. Uh, Taj Mahal, Empire Empress Golden Age. Orson Tower. Um, I guess architecture would be pretty good because there's two wonders there. So I guess, yeah, after we're done with what we're doing, we're going to go there. Yeah, I like it, I like it. And a free great person, leading tower P. Oh, that's pretty good, too. But, um... Actually, you know what? Here, this, this is what we'll do. We'll get compass, get banking, printing press, and then we'll f pop architecture. Or economics. With our uh, Oxford University. I think that's probably a better choice. And why are you... I don't know. Whatever. Next turn. And uh, I'm going to watch to see if they're actually doing damage to them. Because if they are, then I'm going to have to, uh, you know, deal with them accordingly. We may have to declare war on Germany after all. I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully not. I find the and uh, Compass. Very nice. And adopt policy. Definitely going to get the 50% of excess happiness. Look at that. Boosting it by 10. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So our next policy is going to be in 17 turns, which is pretty quick. And that may be boosted because we're going to be building a bunch of opera houses. And how much do those give? Plus 4 per turn. So those are very good. And then plus all the bonuses. Let's see. How many bonuses do we have here? 33% uh, for... Yeah, we basically have 50% extra. 53% extra. Which is very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So an opera house will actually give us about six culture here, which is very cool. And anywhere else, where we have a world wonder, and uh, getting a great getting a great uh, engineer would be very cool. But uh, whatever. Forbidden Palace is pretty good, but don't really need it. So getting a little extra happiness here will actually help our uh, culture as well. And dang it, leading to our pizza got just. Gosh dang it, these guys are taking all of our good wonders. And India now ally of India. Whoa. 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 
Uh, that was kind of sudden. But I'll build an opera house down here. Start working on it. And now Vienna will go for a university as well. They need one. So once that's done, we can get an Oxford University. Well, we need one here still, but then we can get an Oxford University. Monastery's been purchased in Kume, which would be very nice. It'll help us out quite a bit with these wines here. There we go. Yeah, because they're working both those wines. Okay. Gandhi's Renaissance and the Renaissance era. Um, wow. Gandhi, you're going to have to kind of lay off here a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like that, Gandhi. Gandhi. Gandhi, you're going to have to lay off. And are we still winning in culture? So far, you have the lead. Yes. Good. 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 But uh, I think that's all we're going to do today on Civ 5 Guys and Things. So join us next time when we pump out the science and culture and uh, start, you know, trying to win the game. So thanks for watching. This is Brendan signing out. Have a great day.